Today on The Real. On Girl Chat, faking it on social media. When oh. the screen is this close to your face, it's coach. <laughs> okay. Then KFC gets sexy. What will be next? <laughs> 50 Shades of Gravy? <laughs> And Tracy Ellis Ross is back on The Real. It's a really important conversation that I'm happy that we are all having. And with guest co-host Kelly Osborne. It was the funniest thing That's ever. That's plus curls at play. We've got the tips for all you curly girls. On The Real. Guest co host, my sister from another miss, so give it up for Miss Kelly Osborne. And Woo! Oh, Kelly, you realize now it's the best time of the day. Yeah. It is. It's also the worst time of the day for me Why? because I put my one piece on that snaps oh, on the crook no. backwards. So the thong is in the front, <gasps> and I'm sat here dying. It's but the only thing that's going to get me through this is some girl chat. Okay. <laughs> Bow Wow, a.k.a. Shad Moss, is currently on a publicity tour promoting his reality show, Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta. And by the looks of this picture from his Instagram page, he was flying in style. Yes, right? <laughs> he posted that pic with the caption, travel day. But here's the problem, y'all. Twitter user at AI Key was on Bow Wow's real plane, too, and took a picture of his own. Oh! Yes. Process. So explain it, Jeannie. This is happening. So Bow Wow took a picture that he posted on Instagram off Google image from the company of that fancy schman scene. So sad. But really, he was on a commercial plane sitting in my favorite seat, Coach. <laughs> I can't. Ain't nothing wrong with Coach. I'm here for it. I'm I don't so... think that was Coach, though, because it's like, no, it's go Jeff back. Blue, I can tell. Girl, look how... No, but it was too... It's, it's too... Jeff Blue. Jeff it's Jeff Blue. Blue. All... I, 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 they I, have yeah. two windows, though? Yeah, but yeah. it's all the same. Everybody's the same. Girl, that's yeah. the emergency exit row. When oh. the screen is this close to your face, it's Coach. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is too good. I'm dying huh. right now. So once that picture came out on Twitter... Everybody went ham on Bow Wow, claiming that he was just stunting for the gram. I mean, I mean, the things that came out from everybody's creativity yeah. is ridiculous. So I just want to ask, do you guys think a lot of people fake it on social media now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, this was part of something that I wrote in my book, is that people spend so much time you know, fixing their faces and being the person mm -hmm. that they wish they were on their Facebook wall or on their Instagram yes. profile, that they care so much about that, they've stopped caring about other people. It's not even who they really are, it's who they oh, you think they should deep. be. She did. And the <gasps> thing, it's true though, and the thing is, he comes from a world, I'm not even going to say it's the hip-hop world, it's a guy thing, like it's a total competitive nature of like, look how cool I am, I'm in a private jet. Yes, I do think it's stupid, but I also don't like the fact that, like, oh, he's flying coach. Who cares? You all take yeah. off and land at the same time. Well, you know, Bow Wow, yes. he's responded to the controversy, okay? Bow Wow was like, no, wait, hold up. He clapped back in part on Instagram. He said, and I say in part because he used a lot of foul language Ooh. that we can't use. Yeah. Okay. But he basically... Um, said that that picture was an old picture. He said, half of y'all broke blank, still can't afford a buddy pass on Spirit Airlines. Stay out of the big boy lane. But 
Dang. What do you mean that was an old picture? That was, that was an old Google. picture that you got from Google? I don't get no, it. No, I think he's saying that the picture that they took of him on the plane, plane was old. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, but, but still, what Adrian's saying is not is, wrong. It's, it's still a picture, picture from, from Google. Google. True. Yeah. No, but, I do think that, if we're honest, I do think that now more than ever, we live in an image conscious world. Yeah. A lot mirrors. of people tend to put their best version of themselves and their life on Instagram. Yeah, but it's a version of I know, themselves, I know, not a version I know, of but Google. What, I know. So, <laughs> it's still I, themselves. No, I'm not justifying his behavior. I'm just saying what a lot of people do. He could have well, avoided this. Everyone does he it. Could have, he, he could have avoided People do it in different ways, yeah. like filters yes, and then sure. pushing their yes. boobs up like but this. However, there. he could have avoided, yes, can I just, okay. He could have avoided the situation if he would have just changed the content in the post itself. Saying like, man, I can't wait to one day fly thank like you. this. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, At least he's being thank honest. Thank you, thank like, you, thank I you. I don't mind him posting a picture of the, the jet and the car. Hey, if you're aspiring to live like that, you do you, boo? Who, but yes. be honest about yeah. it. You think that's, that's all who I you have are. to say. You think that's who you are. And I'm all about people putting it out there and saying, you know, yeah. this is the life I want to live. But you think positive. Yes. You work hard. That will happen. Yes. Don't lie it's, about it. It, it, it. You don't You don't need to. But I, unfortunately, it, there's a lot of okay. things I that people know, have man. to... Look, Bow Wow trying to get them coins. All right, y'all. I can't blame <laughs> yes. him. He was trying to get his little coins. He was trying to floss. And he got caught. Player, you got to be better at your... Yeah. That's it. I just feel like, <laughs> like, okay, yes, everybody wants to put out a great, you know, image of themselves. Nobody I wants don't. a picture of themselves looking busted. I get that, <laughs> but there's an extreme to it. Like, Photoshop is totally different than, like, literally posting a picture of somebody else and saying it's you. Okay. True. I'm True. not justifying huh? you. You know what I mean? No, like, absolutely. People use filters. Okay, a filter is one thing, but posting a picture that you did not take and saying that it is your life is just okay. So what? Crazy. I can't give you an example of what I do. Okay. I love interior design. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on my Instagram, you will see pictures that inspire me. But instead of saying this is my home, yes. mm -hmm. I actually tag whose home it is. Yes. Yes. That's a good yes. I, you say I love and yes. I love that about her Instagram. I yeah. said them. I would think you were insane, and I swear people <laughs> actually do this. If you took a picture of your kitchen and was like, lo love walking through my kitchen, my marble island, <laughs> and that's somebody else's house that you stole from Google or another because website. Because we be here. trying to get them likes. Yep. That's why. Yes. But okay. This, this, this did not work out very well. Let's be honest, well. though. For sure. Lonnie, <laughs> you show up at parties. Lonnie be the first to show up at parties, ID everybody she needs to take a picture with, <laughs> click, click, click. Boom, ghost. So Lonnie's much out. fun last night. Yes. Got there, took my pictures yes, and I was I out. I do that. I do do that. We all do it. Because I'm, 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 I'm trying to get likes, okay? I'm trying to get that's, likes, okay? And that's so what Bow Wow, I'm taking up for Bow Wow, okay? Y'all be dogging Bow Wow. He trying to keep his coins in his pocket. Like the last time he took a picture in, in a Ferrari. <laughs> Oh, you got to look that one up. It was hilarious, right? He took the picture of the Ferrari, and then he posted on IG. He was like, yeah, okay. And then what happened was the people, he posted it like it was his Ferrari, right? And it was like, oh, that's so nice. He got a Ferrari. But then the people that he rented the Ferrari from reposted See? his picture and said, it's so nice that he is in our Ferrari. I was like... <laughs> So just tag them. See? See, it's moments like that, you guys. Twitter also didn't let us down because this has inspired oh, what no. I'm sure you guys already know is the new Bow Wow <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> okay, in this, people are posting pictures of their luxurious lifestyles. Like, you know, at August Ye Ye, who is apparently now dating Rihanna. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's you know dating what? her on green screen. And Patrice Pinnell told her users about her exotic Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works? That's but, so good. Wait, yes. this is so good, Adrian. I love the, it might be my favorite challenge on social media in life. It's just, so weird. I had to jump in, you guys. Sad, though, that it I had, had to, to jump, jump in. Are you ready to see? Are you ready to see? Yes. Okay, here's my you picture, done. you guys. I got ready for the red carpet last night, and I was uh -huh. so excited. I thought I looked bomb, so I took a beautiful picture. That is you can beautiful. clap for it. Wait, I guarantee you sat in the toilet. <laughs> but hashtag in reality. Boom, oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All day. That's why I 
take my all best day. selfies. I can't. It I happens knew it. all day. Yes. Why you gotta and be on the toilet, Jeannie, like that? Because that's where the best lighting is, Tam Tam. Okay. Because that's Jeannie Mai. Okay, yeah. she do I it like that. I knew it. I knew it. A lot of people that's do. That's a good one. <laughs> a lot of people do. That is a lot. Yes. But seriously, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> the best thing said is the word not said. My mom used to tell me that. Sometimes, you know, you could have just... Some people like to post their sneakers. I'm sure he has a lot of dope sneakers. Show your sneakers in the airport and be like about to get on this plane. <laughs> and he actually is doing dope stuff. He really is. So it's no need for the other yeah, things because he's we, doing something great. He yeah, actually he is. really is producing a show and he's a talented. He is. And he, you know, he's a he's a gentleman. He's a nice guy. Well, and yeah. you guys remember he was a rapper or he still a rapper and he he trying to you know still live that life. That's why we just sometimes. Y'all think I'm trying to shame him. I'm not. No, 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 you just gotta eat. You gotta live by the words of Lil' Kim. No time for fake ones. All day. <laughs> I, That's yeah. it. Yeah, I mean. Or just don't get caught. <laughs> or or yeah. just, just post a dope photo of the sky out your window. <laughs> they could assume you in a private jet. You know what I'm saying? But at least it's not a fake picture. That's what I'm saying. True. You got to just be smarter. You know, I'm for you, Bow Wow. Okay? Yeah, I love you. I'm going to watch your, Me too. your show. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. Well, speaking of living your best life, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle are finally settled into their $4.3 million home in Washington, D.C. And it seems like Barack is dealing with something a lot of men out there can relate to. The former president said that while he's enjoying being in his new home, he's constantly fighting with Michelle over getting more closet space. <laughs> so, ladies, have you ever gone to war with your man over where he keeps his stuff? Can we just say that uh, President Barack Obama it is now good. President Cool and Sexy, yeah. okay? Can he, he do look look so, so good? good. 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 Can we just, okay, now we can move on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He needs more room for yeah. his wardrobe. I am he looks good. good for the unbuttoned. Like, Me too. Yeah. No, the shirt. President Obama is so hot with a little bit of cleavage, he unbuttons it down to the second button now, you guys. He, he, yeah. <laughs> but it, I, I've never, honestly, and, I, and this is really terrible, but the closet is mine. You can have a suitcase on the floor in the corner because don't touch my closet. And in my mom, my parents' new house, there is no spare bedroom because my dad is so particular. Like when, when he grew up, he came from nothing. There wasn't even a bathroom inside of his house. So when he showered, or back then in a tin tub, he was always, because he's the youngest, was the last one to end up using the shower. Or wash, I should say. So he showers like 10 times a day now and changes so much so my mom built him a closet so that he didn't take up her space and then turned the other side of the house into her closet and there's one spare bedroom and it's for my nieces and I'm like so if I have to stay here because I was looking after my mom when she had her spine surgery I was like Wayne's World in the basement oh wow okay. no way yeah I'm like, well, I'm like dad I didn't know that you cared this much like, about your clothes he loves like getting pristine putting the suits on I think and I think Sometimes we as women forget that men love clothes just as forget. much as what, so what do you do? What I don't do forget because at our new house, me and Iz share that closet. So half of the closet is my it's section. It's really cute. Yeah. And it has like this, like a, like a partition thing where I have like, I have my, my little agent provocateur Pretty. shoes and oh. yeah, stuff. Aww. Okay. And then on this side is his <laughs> side. You guys went to the house. It's gorgeous. His side, his side is, is more neater than yours. No, it's not. You're yeah. out of your mind. Yes. No, his was nice. Is with OCD about... No, you're crazy. Okay, no, Adrian is OCD, OCD, OCD about organization. I'm OCD she OCD and is is messy. His side tends to be messy, so that's more of the argument. And it's technically, no. he has more clothing than I do. And he way does. more shoes. He does have that's more my clothes. Husband my husband way has way more well. clothes, way more shoes, way more bags and we need an entire section just for his hats. Have you ever thought before that your eyes were playing tricks on you? Well, mm. sometimes they are. A couple's vacation picture recently went viral on the site Imager and currently has over a million views. What? Check it out. Oh yes, I saw Look this. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, I get, I get it, like, but I get it. <laughs> Look closely. Yes. Okay, so Isn't if you think crazy? the guy's letting it all hang out, you have to look again. It's actually his girlfriend's legs draped across him, making it seem like he's naked. Yes, yeah, so Why does that have really to be behind there. my head? I'm like... And you know what, you guys, believe it or not, these photo fails <laughs> happen all the time. <laughs> and Kelly, I have to ask you this. You're giggling. <laughs> have you ever experienced this before? Oh, what no. What had happened, girl? <laughs> it was so embarrassing after the fact, and now it's hilarious because I'll go through it with you. It was Easter. 
my, okay. we went out for a picnic and Easter egg hunt and we stopped off and got swimsuits on the way back because I didn't have one at my parents' house. And it was me and my sister-in-law, Lisa, who I just called my sister, we were very close. And we would be like ladies who lunched at the pool with like a glass of like, I think it was a like rosé. And in my idea, I was like, okay, I'm going to hide my fat body behind Lisa's because she's so tall and skinny and then stick my neck out and like suck it in and it'll make me look really skinny like I'm ready for the summer in a bikini. Uh huh. Posted up the picture, thought I looked banging. Cut to three hours later, I'm at home. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. I pick up my phone and it's Lisa laughing at me. She goes, did you see the picture? And I looked at it again and I was like, what? She goes, look at your baby hand. Oh God. It was my niece, Andy Rose's hand. Wait. Oh no. Because oh she was behind God. her. And it looks like I've got like little Christian wig from Saturday Night Live hand. <laughs> And I looked at it, I could not stop laughing. It was like instant calm of photo fail because oh, I'm like trying to hide my wobbly bits behind Lisa in a pool. And just, it was the funniest thing That's ever. Where my mom says, that the God punish you. <laughs> that, because you tried to hide it. And that looks so wrong. Well, Edgar, <laughs> That's why Edgar Allan Poe says, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Because stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. True story. Because when I saw the picture of the man, I was like, "Whoa, yes. And then I got disappointed. I was like, shoot, that's not Man, real. Tam and I tried to recreate this earlier today. Fail. What? We got, fail. we had a fail of a fail. What happened? Like, we fa it just we doesn't tried, look it right. It didn't work because like, Tam wouldn't take her shirt off. <laughs> Tam wouldn't take off her shirt of and course, so it didn't Adrian, work. Of course, Adrian, why are we going to take off my you shirt? You off me. I, I don't care. You have to commit to the character. Yes. We, had to, we had to match our skin colors. Yeah, so but it could look like it could one body. Like, I yeah. think it, I think you just wanted an excuse to sit on me. That Adrian. is true. That, that <laughs> is not a lie. I did. So <laughs> straight my legs like over. <laughs> you mean like blue skin wouldn't really work with that? Because you know I'm so pale. And blue. <laughs> <laughs> when I was swimming that day, with that picture was taken, uh -huh. my niece goes to me, Auntie Kelly, are you sick? And I go. No. She goes, why are you so pale? Oh, no. <laughs> little kids tell the truth. I'm like, yeah, one man. of my little nieces, she told me one day, I'm lying to you fat. I was like, well, at least I know my ABCs. Okay? <laughs> it's almost summer, and if you're looking for a good steamy romance book to read on the beach, don't worry, because the Colonels got you covered. Kentucky Fried Chicken just released a romance novel called... The Tender Wings of Desire. <laughs> I can't make these things up, people. The novel available for free on Amazon is actually set in Victorian England. Hear that, Kelly? Yes. Don't make and my And tells the today. story of Lady Madeline Parker and the handsome Harlan Sanders. Ooh, Harlan. That's a good That's name. Sexy. Yeah. Now, the restaurant says, let Colonel Sanders take care of dinner and mom's fantasies. Woo! Ladies, does this book sound extra spicy? Or extra crispy. <laughs> oh, God. It sounds extra crispy. Would you crap? read this? How, of, how could you not? Look at the way she's grabbing his drumstick. I think this is genius, okay? Because I, I read it, and I want to... Um, you did? Yes, I want to uh, recite some passages <gasps> from it, okay? Y'all down for it, okay? But you gotta read it. You okay. gotta read it in romantic, breathy in language. In English, because it's set in Victorian English. <laughs> okay. Do it like... British accents? Give me some music, please. <gasps> he was the most handsome person she's ever seen. Even his beard made him look more manly than unkempt. Uh -huh. Madeline's heart did a little dance of fear, excitement, and some other emotions that she just could not name. Oh, she was getting horny, okay. <laughs> She felt her cheeks blush, a flame red, and she retreated to the kitchen to stop them from blushing further. Madeline's heart was pounding so heavily in her chest that she did not think she would be able to breathe. <gasps> Perhaps she would die like this. Oh, it would be terribly romantic, would it not, to be killed by such a long game. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, can I? Okay, you guys. For real, for real, yes, for real. No, girl, you and can go on Amazon.com and, and legit. I you want can a two piece after that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, here's what I love about this being serious for a second. 
I learned about sensuality and sexiness <laughs> oh my through God. books. Like, it wasn't through, like, shows or, or, you know, just watching what people obviously do. When you read passages about sexuality, your brain goes there, and your the words really bring, like, a whole hot flash. You don't remember reading books of... You know, read, oh, Jeannie. Like, she read books. Songs of Solomon. She knows what's yes, up. Yes, Song of Solomon is... Oh, in the Bible? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's Solomon very was sexy. Jeannie. at all. But... No, no. <laughs> he was into his wife. He no, was. I'm talking more, like, Petals like in the Fabio Wind. Like Fabio on the yeah, cover of the book? Or, no. Like, no, Jeannie. So Solomon was, you need to, oh, we should have, what's the <laughs> and if you're not going to read Song of Solomon, then go with The Coldest Winter Ever. What, I know, okay, I thought that was so sexy. Yes. I can't say what the sexy parts were in the book, but there were some sexy parts, right? And I read it in junior high school, and I thought it was the best thing I'd ever read in my See entire life. See what I life. mean? Yeah. That's what I'm talking really? about. Really? Yeah. It's no, Sister never... Soldier's book, pick it up, it's a good one. You Things really, of that sort. We're talking yes. about people getting hot and heavy over Colonel Sanders, like... And chicken. I know. I kind of like Colonel Sanders the way he looked before. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like an overly buff guy. I like somebody with a little bit of tub to hug. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All Nobody right. Else? Maybe they don't know what you're saying. No. Nobody no. else. We all fell in love with our next guest as Joan on the sitcom Girlfriends. She's a talented actress and the first African American woman in 35 years to win the Golden Globe for Best Woo! Actress in a Comedy from ABC's hit show Blackish. Please give it up for Tracy Ellis Ross. Things that Tracy once told me is that you style yourself a lot. And a you lot. Shop I do. Vintage. And I it's do. Just, uh -huh. Your style is always sick. I actually started a hashtag on my Instagram, the girl who loves to shop. Yeah. <laughs> so when I style myself, you know that it's out of my closet. Oh, I love oh, yeah. This was not. This is Carla Welch. This is yeah. Carla Welch. Yeah. Oh, these are my jeans. Okay, if you're woke, you know to follow Tracy on Instagram because <laughs> you always have such great tips and funny things. But I want to know what's your favorite beauty tip. Oh, I have so many beauty tips, but okay. recently I posted that ridiculous video. Uh, my friend it. caught me. I love it. So I'm, I'm really big on hydration. I'm yes. 44 years old, <laughs> and I think hydrating in all great. areas. You got to drink the water. So the hydration on the inside and the outside. <laughs> and yes. I don't feel clean Reach. unless I've drank a lot of, lot water, of water and had a shower. Yes. You have to drink water drink as well. Drink on the inside. And then on the plane, I'm ridiculous. What do you do? I do the Evian spray bottle. <laughs> and yes. then... I start with the hydration. Right, before I take people. off, during the flight, before I land. Yes. And then I get off the plane looking, so I don't wear makeup on the plane. But so yo, she smart. takes it a step smart. further. She, which is oh. really a Korean ritual. Yes, she knows yes. how to spank, spank yes, the hydration yes. in. Yeah, you spank. Yeah. I can't do it because I have makeup on, but you literally, yeah. I'm gonna do it. You spank. Oh. Don't oh. Contour. Oh, good. I, don't contour. <laughs> I don't contour. But another, that's a beauty tip. Yeah, yeah. I don't contour, I don't contour. And Wait. if anything, and by the way, I also don't highlight and do you know what I like to do? What? Take a wee little bit of oil, oil. and just right mm -hmm. on ah. the bone. Wait, so oh. editorial. You look baby Jesus. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. You don't have to right, contour with right that Right on the bone. <laughs> so good. So good. Right she was doing it. Cheek. Right on the bone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We've seen each other a lot of red carpets yes, before. Yes, we and have. I recently saw you. We're at the Met, and to me, Kelly, I didn't go this year because I was here. <laughs> but Kelly, the, that red carpet is the scariest thing is it I've ever done terrifying in my thing life. Ever, and first, it's like doing aerobics. First Why? of all, let's yeah. be clear. Oh, you look fine. No, okay. But let's just let's just be clear. 
I love taking pictures. I love being in front of all those kind of things. Okay. A red carpet is specifically for people to take pictures of you to judge you. Exactly. That is what it's that for. Is, yeah. And the Met Ball is like the, like, it's like the crazy. Creme it's creme. Vogue. The it's American yeah. Vogue. Yes. The Oof. preparation. You always, you don't usually have a choice in what you're wearing. There's like a window of time when you get to be on the carpet. I had to be there between 6.45 and 7. Wow. wow. And I ended up on the carpet with Adriana Lima. Oh, no. Don't say I that. I was wearing a not body conscious dress. As you can tell, it was a piece of origami, a piece of art. I love she was people. basically wearing a bathing suit and a piece of fabric. And her <laughs> legs are the length of my body. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I didn't get it. Did you do this one when you're going up the stairs you and you're like, <laughs> yes, how do I get up these stairs? Yeah, because they're taking good. pictures of you as yes. well. So you have to zigzag. It's like the longest carpet of life and my little hands couldn't really move. So I couldn't really like work at anything. Mm -hmm. It was like all expression. Yes. So it was like, <laughs> like just a lot of expression. And I was so nervous. So I kept nervous. taking my hands inside and putting them and saying, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, I you are now. hilarious. Your show, so Black oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, just wrapped its third season yes. last night. Now, your chemistry with your TV husband, yes. Anthony Anderson, <laughs> is phenomenal. We've actually had the both of you here yes. on the show together. Yes. So freaking funny. Now, did you know him before you actually <laughs> I did. I didn't the like show? him at all. Wait, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. And I've been public about it. I did not like that man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anthony! has a large personality. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he's not, he doesn't like edit himself a little bit in his head a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Example. And uh, he just says things that like, if you don't know him, you're like, Ooh. That's like my biggest <laughs> problem. I mean, like, him and I should be friends. No, I mean like literally, and I was like, I, this is not for me, but once you get to know him, you know that he's got like the softest yeah. center. He is, yeah. he's Powerful. one of my favorite people. He's so great to work with. We yeah. have, so much fun at work. We work really long hours because they, you know, it's really about the kids. They are mm -hmm. protected by laws and we are not. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> so our schedule, our schedule is really more about the function for them as opposed mm -hmm. to for us. Mm -hmm. Look at your eyelashes, girl. You look so pretty. Really? Oh my gosh. Oh my that needs a lot coming sparkle. from you. No, really. Oh my God. You're like my Tracy. sister. Oh. Come on, my baby. Oh my God. <laughs> You, the two of you, like, and my sister Chudney, like, you got, we're twins. I know. It's like we ridiculous talk about this all the time. time. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a moment. Okay, so you're you're involved in a new campaign yes. called Hashtag Woman, Woman in, in Progress. Progress. See, we even talk at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, tell it's us a, about it. It's a really important conversation that I think I'm really happy that we're all having. And you guys talked a little bit about sort of what happens with social media now, this idea of perfection and like I woke up like this and the filters and all this. Yeah. And it's also, it's like life, there's a lot of bumps on the road mm -hmm. in your journey of life. There is disappointment, there's pain, there's mm -hmm. fear. And I think in our society, it's like we, in our culture, we don't really talk about that experience. Yeah. And the Women in Progress campaign, campaign is really about opening up the conversation so that pain is not something we're afraid of and changing your relationship to pain. Oh. So that... Yes, it's a part of life, and so that we all know that it's not a stopping point. Like, disappointment doesn't mean you stop or that mm -hmm. you shut down. Mm -hmm. It means it's an opportunity to learn more about yourself, mm -hmm. to, like, grow, and to expand in who you are as opposed to get smaller. And so it's a really important conversation that I'm happy that we are all having. Yes, yes. We've got some fun in store. Now, normally, Tracy, in this game, we give you about 60 seconds to exactly. answer as many questions mm -hmm. as they can. But in honor of Tracy's show, Blackish, we're switching things up a bit. Okay. It's time to play Celebin 60 ish. Celebin 60 ish. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay. Since it's Celebin 60 ish, we'll give you like three extra seconds. Okay. okay. 63 That's seconds. That's hilarious. Are you asking the questions? We're oh, all going to ask. Oh my God. Oh, 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 rapid yeah. fire. Here right. it goes. So, all right. Kelly has the first question, and the clock will start after she's done. Okay, okay Kelly, fire away. Would you rather. Expose the photos on your cell phone or on your text messages. Go. Oh, I my the pho not my text messages. My you have the, the option: text messages the, or oh, photos, photos in your phone. Oh, yeah. photos in my phone. I look great. In got, it. Okay, got it. Got <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. Who would play you in a Lifetime movie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. <laughs> You are she is as the young version. Yes. Like as a Amazing. kid. Not even okay. mean young. We're young. Yeah, okay. young. All right. So I don't know how I would survive without my blank phone. 
Okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> stranded on a desert island alone or with someone you hate? Alone. Yeah. Good answer. Okay. What's the sexiest body part on a man? His. Yes, girl. Really? Okay. 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 Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> One historic <laughs> event that you wish you could have attended. Wow. Oh, wow. I feel like I attended the most historic event, the inauguration of President Obama. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. if you woke up tomorrow as an animal, what animal would you want to be? My last dog, Ladybug. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Show up to a party fashionably late or right on time? Fashionably late. Oh, good. All the time, girl. Well, it's time. <laughs> Whether your curly hair is short or long, we're all looking for the best products when it comes to styling, especially for our children. Mm -hmm. And if you got a child with curls and you need a little help managing their do, look no further. We got you. This is Curls at Play. Woo. I'm excited about this. Janelle Stevens, the owner of the Camille Rose Hair yes. Care Line, is back to make sure your little one's hair not only looks good, but stays healthy as well. Yes. Welcome back to the show. And you've brought along someone that we all know and love from some of our favorite TV shows and movies like Love and Basketball, Proud Family, and Let's Stay Together. Everyone, help us welcome Miss Kyla Pratt. Yes. So excited to have you here. Yeah, thank you. I'm it's excited to be here. It's so good to have both of you here. And Janelle, we are so proud of you. You have an amazing. Camille Rose Signature Hair Care Line. But why did you decide to start a line for kids? Well, when parents style their children's hair every day, they use a lot of brushing and combing and ponytails and braiding. Mm -hmm. So the Mandarin Collection offers extra protection against mm -hmm. breakage. We use an oil blend of or orange fruit oil, olive, and castor, mm -hmm. and it totally gets rid of tangles and knots. And it smells so, good. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. as a kid, that's the last awesome. thing you want is to get your hair brushed out. Definitely. That's so helpful. And yeah. I bet it cuts the process in half by time. Oh, mm -hmm. definitely. Brushing everything now, out. Janelle, no, you're not no. only an entrepreneur, but you're also a mother as well yes. of, oh my gosh, of two daughters and three sons. Yes, I do. Do you use Camille Rose on their hair? Oh, in my house, it's Camille Rose everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I am grabbing products from my signature line and my kids' collection and applying it to their hair every day to keep their hair healthy and shiny of and course. beautiful. Of course. I like that. Well, Kyla, as a mother of a six-year-old little girl, um, it can be hard getting her to sit still mm -hmm. when styling her hair, especially when it comes <laughs> to detangling. So which product would you suggest that's best for that? Yeah, that's hard for me because I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. So it's a little crazy. Yes. But my favorite combo is the Sunday Glaze and the Brown Butter Melt. Ooh. Those Ooh. two soften and detangle and make the process so... We, we're all tender-headed in my house. Yeah. Like, yes. It's crying, it's tears, but yeah. with these products, it's so... Everything. Like, I, I don't know what I would do without wow. them. And, and you, you just sang it. Right? It sounds like it smells so, so good. Right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, and you guys can find them at Sally's Beauty and Walmart. Like, oh, nice. check oh, wow. it out, please. Amazing. Awesome. Well, <laughs> ladies, we actually have two extremely gorgeous models waiting backstage to show off their curls. First up, we have Kyla's divine daughter, Little Miss Lyric. Come on out! <laughs> bows in her head and two braids up the back and we use the Sunday glaze and brown butter milk for her because she's tender headed like mommy mm -hmm. and uh, it's everything go baby yeah I think you I'm gonna copy that that is such a flying oh style okay yeah. model is the daughter of the rapper The Game, and she is a friend of our show. So come on out, Miss Callie. We did band two knots on wet hair, let it dry overnight. We used the sweet pudding and the brown butter melt. And then the next day, we just detangled it with our fingers, pinned it up on the side, and little Miss Callie's ready. Very <laughs> cute. She looks amazing. Oh, 